Hey, what's going on guys? So quickly next up, I want to be showing you guys how you can actually save presets for your simple text animations just so you can actually save a little bit of time in the future. So say we had created a basic title. If we, if we drag a basic title down here, pop that there, go ahead and just call this um, preset example, right? Just so we've got some sort of text there. Um, go ahead and pop that in the middle. I, I won't even tweak this too much just for an example. And this is obviously just a still text. If we wanted to uh, kind of drag over these presets here as, as a uh, set animation um, that we could simply drag over from effects uh, to save this set motion here, what you would simply do is go up here to the motion, which encompasses the position, the scale, the rotation, everything. So if any of this stuff had been tweaked, whatever has been changed, the variables have been customized. If we go up here to motion, click, uh, right click, and go save preset, we could save that as um, uh, bounce simple animation okay and when we say save that as a bounce simple animation or save it as whatever we want we can simply direct ourselves over to effects drop down the menu for presets and we have a bounce simple animation where if we go over here to this um, to this preset example which obviously we've done no animation to but we've just spent a decent bit of time animating these guys over here we could just drag that bounce simple animation and it is going to add the same things to this as obviously was on these guys. However, what this does is it actually does not track time. So this is going to spread this out over um, basically whatever the size of the clip is. For example, we know that this first clip, this preset is for the whole clip. Um, it, it doesn't just cover a section of it. The first keyframe is at the beginning, the, the second keyframe is at the middle, and that last keyframe is at the end. So this animation encompasses the entire length of the clip. So even when we were to bring it to a bigger clip like this, you can now see that it still encompasses the entire clip. Doesn't matter if the length is drastically bigger than this. So that is the one thing that if we give this a play, you'll see it is drastically slower than, of course, these guys over here um, because the preset is over the entire clip with these keyframes right here. So when it's over here, it still does that. It still adds the keyframe to the entire clip, to encompass the entire clip rather. So what you would simply do is say we wanted that uh, this to be a similar size. We would just kind of go over here um, to um, down here on our timeline where it would maybe look like it's a decent amount of size, decent, decently similar size. And then just kind of start dragging these guys over and uh, readjusting how they work. So for example, like that, and then maybe we would go into our razor tool, cut that at the end, and then if we give this a play, obviously we have just reset that saving preset to not encompass the entire length of the clip, but just to encompass the part that we wanted. However, um, say we duplicated this right here and it was just the exact same size, and um, say we were to, to turn off um, this animation right here, just put that as if it was normal, right? Obviously, this is the set exact size as this, so if we were to drag over this basic bounce animation, it is going to work perfectly. So you kind of need to keep that um, clip uh, size thing in mind when going about using presets. However, um, usually there's minimal amount of tweaking you have to do, and these presets do work decently good. But without further ado, let's have a quick overview of our basic animated titles and we're going to be cracking on with more and uh, even better things to do with graphics and titles.